Reddit what is the dumbest question a customer or client has ever asked you at your job? Is your chicken noodle soup vegan? Double quote. Then there was also the guy who ordered 4 milkshakes. 3 chocolate. 1 strawberry. They came in clear cups and were marked clearly on the lid. CS for chocolate shake and SS for strawberry shake. He looked at me and asked which one is the strawberry one. I gave him the benefit of doubt thinking he may be colorblind. However. The strawberry shake had huge chunks of strawberry in it as well. And. Again. They were marked. I work at a college's IT department. My third day in. This 50 minus 60 year old woman tries to convince me to change her username. On a different college's website. When I explained I couldn't. She freaked out and yelled until a long time worker came up and blatantly said we don't do that. Double quote. This woman I've learned has a complaint to the dean from almost every department on campus. She's not allowed in here, three years later. Other notable things she's tried or said that I've had to save my co-workers from. Trying to get a newbie to write her paper for her. Cussed out a co-worker for saying that he wouldn't convince her professor not to turn in her paper. Demanded we keep our computer lab open and we needed to stay for over two hours past our closing time. So she can do her homework. When we said no. She said I have cancer. You need to do what I ask. When we said no. She cussed us out and refused to leave. We called security and our boss. She punched a security guard. I teach karate and one day a lady comes in who is looking to do a birthday party at her own home but wants to buy some black belts from us for her kid and their friends. Now. I would have no problem selling her belts for home use. Doesn't sot mean shit to me. Except we don't sort stock any of that stuff outside of when we need them for tests and promotions and stuff. So I kindly decline and explain to her she could go online and find it on Zoo's website if she wanted them but that most schools won't sort sell them because of the hard work and dedication and etc. So she points at my belt. Which is grimy and gross and ripped apart with all of the work in it and says well hey what about yours? Can I just buy that one? S. Dot. Yeah sure lady lem just give you the thing so I've been using every day for the last 10 years. I work at an Italian restaurant and this guy was looking at ordering a salad. And when I asked what dressing he wanted he kept going back to the pasta sauces and asking Sugo. That would be good on it rolled and sot it. It's all get fats and I tried to explain sir. Those are for the pastas. You got the Mediterranean salads and he responded so that's alright. Maybe carbonara, another sauce. I don't sort get what he was and sort understanding. He seemed like a normal smart dude but he just cold and sort comprehend the difference between the dressings and sauces. Reminds me of a lady who assumed everything on the menu was some kind of omelette. I'll take the skirt steak omelette. That's actually just a skirt steak. Perhaps I could substitute the french fries for eggs for you. Oh it's not an omelette. How about this greek salad omelette? Mom that's just a Greek salad. The egg dishes are on this side of the menu. And the ones that are omelette say omelette in the description. Double quote. Eventually she picked an omelette that she ended up really liking. But another guy at her table sent back his croc monsieur because he thought IT would be an omelette. I don't know what made them think we were an omelette restaurant or something. I used to work at a fine jewelry kiosk in a mall. Our jewelry included items like gold bracelets and necklaces bonded with sterling silver. Sterling silver rings with cubic zirconia gems. Gold engagement rings with diamond chips clustered together rather than one large diamond. Etc. I had a lot of regulars. And this one woman would come in often and ask of every item she was interested in. Size this real? So I explained what bonded means and how we don't sort sell diamond rings for $25. But that the rings were indeed certified sterling silver with synthetic gems. I gave her information like this over and over again. Day after day. And she would follow up every explanation with. So gay. But. Is it real? S. Work at a zoo. And one year they did a big TV advert to highlight night zoo since we are open until 9pm during summer. At around noon a woman asked me where was the night zoo. I said here but in 6 hours. 
In their defense maybe they thought it was like a nocturnal building? My local zoo had a building with like no light where they housed the nocturnal animals. That they called the night house. So I could definitely see someone thinking it was some sort of new exhibit for night animals. I work in a bank, actually not even a bank. It's an advice center so no cash or anything like that. Not that anyone reads the signs on the way in. Had a pair of women come in and one says that the other is visiting from France and needs to check how much is in her account and can I tell her. I ask if she's a customer of this bank, thinking maybe she's a student learning English and has set up an account because that's quite common. But no. She wanted me to tell her the balance in her French bank account. I used to work in computer sales and repairs. Had a customer come up who was maybe 23 years old saying she couldn't get her laptop to open something. So I take it. And open it and casually ask. What is it you can't get open? She looks at me shocked as I open the laptop screen and tells. I have been trying for hours to get IT to open how do you do that? I look at her not knowing how to respond and close it and open it again. She takes it and walks out saying thank you. I took a long look at my computer I was working on and decided that this was the moment that made me quit that job. For my name. Not the question itself but the reason why he asked. I was volunteering as cashier at a used bookstore for the library son at my regular job but I do it often. In comes this older fella who buys a big stack of books for like 10 bucks. He was really nice and chatty though he didn't sort seem completely aware mentally. Not a big deal. I just had to explain sales tax and the book pricing a couple times before he seemed to get it. He pays by credit card and I explain to him how to sign the touchscreen for the payment to go through. This is where he asks for my name. I tell him. He takes the iPad and says he really appreciated my service and happily tells me how sauce going to sign my name for the card so Thies will know to send the money to me. Before I can say Snow wait. Sasos submitted the signature. I can't sort see his receipt but he keeps telling me I was great and to keep the change so I can't assume he was being legit. I honestly won't sort call it dumb. Just bizarre. Made me wonder if Hesos been signing cashier names the entire time Hesos had a credit card. Thank goodness the card companies never check those things. I used to work at a grocery store deli. My co-worker for some reason got more stupid questions than anyone else, we'd swap stories every shift. But one went a little like this. Hi. What can I get you? The 8 piece chicken. How many pieces are in it? How? How many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken? Um. There are 8 pieces in the 8 piece chicken. Okay. I'll have that. Please. Double quote. To be fair. The lady was awfully polite but how many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken is still a stupid question. An edit. A few people said maybe she meant how many of each piece. No. She meant how many pieces are in the 8 piece chicken. I said 8. Packaged it up. And she went away happy. I used to work as a bank teller. A lady came up to me and asked to withdraw money. I informed her that she couldn't withdraw money. Because her account was overdrawn. She was immediately upset. So I had her account checked for fraud. She then explained that all those charges were hers and she wasn't expecting any payments. She was spending money she knew she didn't have. She then asked me why we couldn't just give her more money. I used to work in a call center for a large bank and a customer phoned while he was in one of the branches and said the queue was too big so he wanted me to help him. I asked what his query was and he said the ATM was broke so he had to withdraw cash. I asked how I could possibly help him withdraw cash from the bank over the phone and he said why can't you just fax it to me? Double quote. I was the dumb client in this situation. It was my first time donating plasma and the nurse was telling me about the process. So she goes since we take the plasma we give you back your red blood cells and I just looked her dead in the eyes and said swell what am I supposed to do with that? For some reason I was envisioning then giving me a bag filled with my blood rather than actually putting it back in me. I used to work at a school library. We would open it for students during lunch and then close the doors and put out a large closed sign when it got full. I mean a large. 
wheeled easel at the students could read from a ways down the hallway and had to walk around as it literally took up half the hallway. Needless to say, students would walk past this sign that says library closed, through double closed doors and then try to walk in. My favorite response was, did you read the sign? No oh. Well if you can't read, you shouldn't be in a library. Goodbye. Double quote. Supplier said we needed two copies of assigned documents to go ahead and proceed with the order. One sent to her requesting it and one to an upper level manager. So instead of me ceasing both her and the upper level manager with the attached signed document she sent the same file twice in the email for us to forward one signed copy to her and another to her manager. I replied with the signed document and cc'd her manager so he could read that bit of brilliance. Have you ever interneted this good? I used to work at a literary management company. A woman called and asked why we had never responded to the query she had sent for her novel. Long story short. It turned out she hadn't addressed the envelope. She just wrote the name of our company on the envelope and put it in the mailbox. I explained that. For the query to find its way to us. She would need to include our address on the envelope. She asked. Has it always been like that? Double quote. I work at a Starbucks. Three days ago I had a customer come order and pay for his drinks and then he asked for the drink to be heated to 180 degrees. I asked him what that temperature was in Celsius. Assuming he measured his temperature in Fahrenheit. Nope. He meant he wanted his drink heated to 180 degrees Celsius and he emphasized it was possible as he had it heated to that temperature at the two other cafes in the service station. When there are only two cafes in total and they're both Starbucks, our coffee machines can only heat to a maximum of 85 degrees before the milk starts boiling over. And at 180 his drink would be a cloud of vapor but he just wasn't having it at all and insisted I was lying. Uwaman is a former public librarian. I could write a book. Some of my favorites. How do you interpret the VIN on a car? Dot. Not a dumb question in and of itself. But she wanted to know if it told the day of the week on which the car was made. She wanted to avoid a car made on a Friday since they would only be thinking of the weekend. Also wanted to avoid Mondays as they'd be hungover. Apostrophe. Do you have a K? After several moments of confusion, I figured out that he really was asking me if I had a paper K hanging around. Why did the praying mantis on my porch die? She called four times in one afternoon. Do you have a picture of Apollo? For a school project. Showed her numerous images. She wasn't satisfied. Finally realized she wanted an actual photo. Do I start with photography being a relatively new invention? All that Greek gods aren't real? Numerous people asking how much is this book? If I just buy it now? Do they think they're at Barnes and Noble? Weekly. People asking how to make a color copy from a black and white image. It got to the point where I jokingly told them the little coloring gnomes inside the copier only worked on Thursdays. I used to be a receptionist at a local branch of UNICEF, the United Nations Children's SOS Emergency Fund, and people would call in at least once a week with a variant of this. Caller. See. How can I volunteer with UNICEF in Africa? SME. Swell. You need to contact UNICEF International in New York City. We don't so actually send volunteers in the field from this office. Scholar. So well. I need to go next week. Or some other unreasonable time limit. How do I do that? SME. Sis I'm pretty sure that the application will take more than a week. They will need to make sure you have the qualifications they are currently looking for. Scholar. Squalifications? SME. CS. Mostly they need professionals in the medical field or teachers with experience working with non-profit organizations or even sometimes translators or international lawyers. Although those two don't sort usually get sent out of the country they are based in. Scholar. See I'm unemployed. And don't sort really have any experience in any field. So they can sort just send me to Africa next week. Because I can go now. Saw so something similar. Me. Snow. S. Bakery. Label printer had an error that for some products the nutrition info wasn't there. So printed out as zero grams. 
zero calories, zero fat, zero sugar, etc. All zero the whole way. Woman asks if the label is true. Starts crying when I say it isn't. Because she thought she'd found a new diet food. First up it's ordinary white bread. Labeled as such. And you think it's zero calories per slice? WTF did we make it out of? Secondly. The weight of the product was zero grams. And some other super obvious ones like that. By picking up the product. You should have been fairly clear that it did in fact have mass. I'm not upset that she double checked. I'm amazed that she had convinced herself that it was real in the time it took her to read the label and come talk to the counter. So much that she cried when I let her know it was a label error. For context. A woman was trying to get fabrics to cover tables. Didn't sort have measures of the tables and after I explained a lack of size standards, tables come in all sorts of sizes guys. And a variety of shapes too, she immediately said the first table was standard size. So we saw off to a great start. Finally figure out how much she needs of the first one and cut it for her. Then on to the second. I roll some off the bolt and go to straighten it out only for her to grab the fabric and start moving it. She opens it and asks the width. Which I read off the fucking bolt and she paused. She thinks about this. S that sauce just not big enough. S she thinks again. Sci-fi cut it. Will that make it bigger? S it took literally all my willpower to tell her that s unfortunately no. Making it smaller will not make it bigger s with a professional tone. Working at an AT&T store less than 2 years I had a minimum of 100 people tell me their iPhone wasn't ringing anymore and they tried everything. And it ended up being the silent slider on the side. All ages between 12 and 75. How can you spend so much without even knowing its basic features? Some of these people lived in secluded areas and had to drive 45 plus minutes to get there because there were no other AT&T stores near them and only ended up visiting for 3 seconds. Amazing how some people put so little effort into learning about what they use. Had a conversation with a woman about picking ink for a printer she just got. The conversation kept getting more and more ridiculous and I realized Shesod never owned or probably even used a printer. Because she asked me this gem swart order do I put the cartridges in if I want to print in yellow? Smartome what do you mean? Swell if I put the black cartilage in first. Then where do you put the yellow one? Don sot I have to take all the other carriages out and just leave the yellow one if I want to print in yellow? S I used to work at Best Buy. At least once a week it would happen that a person would try to return software in anger or confusion. The reason they were either angry or confused was that they were of the belief that if it's on a CD it should work on a Mac no matter what. Double quote. I have no idea whatsoever where these people were getting this completely nonsensical idea. They were always shocked if we asked them why they would think this. Like they had wandered into a Best Buy in an alternate dimension where the sky was purple and you wore sandwiches on your feet. But clearly wherever they were picking up this horseshit was somewhere with a lot of bandwidth. I work in a law firm for the family law team. The amount of times I get asked how to remove parental responsibility of the father is unreal. It's not impossible but very close to. They all give the same reason. I just don't think he should have rights anymore. Yeah. Sorry love but the courts don't value your opinion enough to remove the rights of a parent from their own child. I'm astounded that people ask this let alone being asked this every day can't pin it down to one. But a common one from a while back. I worked in IT for a marketing company which was basically a help desk you could hire to take your calls. We looked after one of the major supermarkets club card in Ireland and took calls from people with whatever issue they had with the card service. When a mail shot was sent out to all club card holders they had to have extra staff to man the phones no matter what. I shit you not. The mail would say bank holiday weekend special. Double points on all purchases the phones would be hopping for two days with customers ringing up to find out what the mail shot was about. Why do you not have this item in stock? It's always in stock. Lady. I work for 11. 50 per hour here. If I could decide what needed stocking and what didn't I'd be making a hell of a lot more money than that. Where are all the toys? 
Comma this was two days before Christmas at a big box store. Known for its hot dogs and pizza. Well. We had toys out for the better part of a month now. And you probably had ample opportunity to buy a toy at the start of December. I guess little Timmy will have to settle for a Mega Block set now instead of Lego. I worked in the seafood department for a large supermarket chain. One day. A woman came and asked to buy some frozen shrimp. But from the pre-packaged bag. However. She didn't want the entire bag. Just half of it, a pound. I think. So I was ready to open the bag when she said that she wanted me to remove the weight cost of the ice crystals on the shrimp. I just looked at her and asked if she wanted me to wash it off. To which she said no because she wanted it to stay frozen. It probably weighed less than the plastic bag we use. Needless to say. She turned away when I said I'm not able to do that for her. I still think that was the most ridiculous interaction I've had with a customer. I got one yesterday at work. Guy calls in furious that his bill is showing he owes $180 for the month. Understandably so. I let him know that the bill is wrong. A supervisor the guy spoke with previously cleared out the PMT for the month of May and June and no payment is due until the 6th of July. He says over and over he doesn't understand and it doesn't make sense. I phrased it as many ways as I could think of but he just didn't get it. So he says talk to my fiance. I was relieved to talk to someone with a brain. I tell her and she didn't understand either. It was 30 minutes of me resisting banging my head against the desk until it was a bloody pulp. I felt as though I lost massive amounts of brain cells talking to those people. I'm in the army. We had a long field event. About a month in the field. No showers. MREs. Sweating in the south heat in August. Just a real shitty time. Had a private ask me if we got overtime because we don't get to go home. I told him no. But he thought I was joking. My platoon sergeant blew up on the poor kid when he said he needed to go to finance because he didn't get his overtime. Swarts off the internet. S I used to work for an authorized Apple retailer. And one day this old woman, probably in her late 70s or 80s, came in to ask why her phone was acting up. Well. It was a 4GB iPhone 4 that had no storage left. She understandably did not understand her smartphone and when upgrades could be required. I did my best to explain that she would need to upgrade to a device with more storage so it would work the way she wanted. And she could keep all of the pictures of her family. All she would have to do is transfer them through the iCloud system over the internet. Fat sauce when she asked this question. Swarts off the internet? S In that moment. She had tears running down her face as she truly did not understand a thing I explained prior. And felt hopeless. I had to take my lunch break. So I handed her off to my store manager to take over. When I clocked back in. She was still in the store. This time. At the checkout counter. With her brand new iPhone 6s that my manager has sold her to meet a monthly sales quota. And as I'm sure he never told her what the internet was. I work in a sort of outdoor ski shop. So in summer it's obviously slower and they push tents and chairs and general camping. Hiking gear. We usually gave some chairs on display outside the store as well as extra chairs inside for people to grab one customer saw chair. Saw the same one inside came up to us and asked do you have any of these in stock? It took us a few seconds to answer cause we weren't sure if we heard right. And that was apparently too long for her. She stormed out of the shop saying you people are obviously no fucking good at your job. You should find something else to do with your lives. Double quote. She even emailed and complained to head office. Who asked us what happened? We sent in the security footage. And now she is banned. She is someone who came in often and didn't spend much. One colleague went up to her once and smiled and asked if she needed any help. So she snapped yes. You can help me by leaving me the fuck alone and stormed out the store. Leaving my colleague dumbstruck. Where are your anti abama washers? I sold appliances for a while at Sears to supplement my teacher income when Obama was still president. Some conservative farmer came in and asked me where are your anti abama washers? I said excuse me? And he replies with I don't support Obama. So I don't want any of that energy saving. 
Water saving. Green crap he's always pushing. I want a real washer. Yeah. He thought anything that was energy star qualified was somehow supporting Obama. So he wanted to waste as much water as he could to spite him. I used to work at McDonald's. And when the chicken tenders first came out. My place sold out of them within 2 or 3 days. A customer tried ordering them after the fact. And I told her we're sold out until the next delivery comes in. She asked how we're out of chicken tenders in an accusatory tone as if we were hiding them from her. Like wow. A new item and a limited supply. I wonder how we're sold out. When I worked in housekeeping. I mainly cleaned porches and decks. One day. A woman who looked like she was just itching to talk to my manager comes up to me and says the grass is wet. This was because the sprinklers were going earlier that morning. So in a polite way I basically go so. She then asked me to dry the grass for her so she wouldn't get her feet wet. If you guys have seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2. She basically wanted me to reenact the scene where the golden lady is walking on the snow and they roll out the carpet. I was so stunned that I just said it was 30 degrees celsius out so it would dry in like 30 minutes. <laughs>